Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda 2 Adventure of Link. Last time, I ended up having a lot of trouble completing the Island Palace, because... Well, to simply put, my life and magic were lower level than they probably should have been. So, at the end of last episode, I went to my favorite grinding spot and leveled up my magic twice and my life once. So at this point, I have six magic, six attack, and five life, which should be enough to get me through this dungeon now. Here's the thing. Now, when we beat the boss, it's going to give me a free level up to reach magic and supposed to attack. But I'm okay with that, because it should at least give me enough experience points to get very close to leveling up attack. Then I can just go back to my favorite grinding spot, grind up just a little bit, and get that attack level up. Plus, leveling up magic, I honestly, would be pretty fine as well. Now that I have the grinding spot open and accessible, <laughs> I'm really not that worried about experience points. At the same time, I would really like to level up, or reach the attack level up, or the life level up before attempting the boss. That would be very nice. Maybe that wasn't such a great idea. No. No. Let's try this again. Okay, Link, I know you can do this. Thank you. Okay. Take that. That was probably tougher than I made it, uh, than it had to be. Ooh, that's nice. Check that out. Red jars are now incredibly useful now that my magic is such a high level. Alright, let's go this way just to fight this extra red on iron knuckle to make sure we get reach the life level up before attempting the boss. Moving the, uh, down with the elevator, those guys spawn in weird places. Because your height is at a weird level. Alright. Yeah, this is going much better already. And I think it's all thanks to the, my <laughs> leveling up magic. I'm actually going to get that pea bag. It's only a hundred, but honestly, it's still pretty good. Ah, hey. Ouch. Do that. Alright. 500 experience points away from a level up. Let's go along the bottom path, because there's a pea bag at the end of here. guarded by a red iron knuckle, not a blue one. Honestly, there are some enemies where it really doesn't matter how high a level you are, avoid them at all costs. Alright. We'll get another 100 from that red iron knuckle. Come on. important to scroll that blue iron knuckle off screen before attempting this red one. I hope there's still another room after this with a few enemies. There's not. Okay. Well, I think the blue iron knuckle does give 200 experience points, so... 
Darn it. Still have two lives, though, so not, uh, not super worried about that. And no, fire is not going to help you against the Iron Knuckles. They're immune to fire. Yeah, you'll notice I'm basically taking damage and then trying to downstab through him, and that actually damages him. Provided you can back him up into a place where there's a ceiling, you can do that. Come on, come on. Thank you! Oh, only 150, that's not good. Backtrack and grind on some enemies before attempting. Actually, no, wait, the boss will give me. The boss will give me enough experience points to reach the life level up. Because the boss is a blue iron knuckle. Get, get up that! Get up that! Come on, Link. 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 I knew you could jump that high if you just tried, Link. Well, hopefully... the fight against the boss Blue Iron Knuckle will go a bit better. Because there are now no low ceilings to get stuck in. Just kill me now. There's no way I can possibly beat him with that little HP and magic. So again, horse is very, very easy. Just wait for him to charge and then do a downstab on his horse. Or like in between his horse and him. And then just get into close corners, let him hit you, then run inside of him and then do a downstab. And that's like the really the only way you can actually hit him. And there we go, that fight went much better than before. And there we go. gonna place the crystal in. And finally the island palace is done. So I'm gonna get a ton of experience. That'll give me the option to level up magic. I'm going to hit no thank you. And as you can see it stops giving you experience there. Let's get off this island and never ever come back. That's the nice <laughs> prize. Thank you for that. And so now I can just go to my favorite grinding spot and get that attack level up pretty quickly. Oh, there's a hidden tomb here as well with a free magic jar. I actually did not know that. There's all sorts of hidden stuff on this world map. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. And attack goes up! Now we have seven attack. We, we only need one attack level up left in the entire game. Cool! So from now on, we're pretty much just going to level up the first thing we reach to, which will most likely be life! Because we only need 1,500 experience to get a life level up, whereas we need now, like, 8,000 to level up attack again. Probably should have... filled up on magic and life at Naburu. Maybe they'll drop a red magic jar. Oh my gosh, you are so nice! Alright, a few scripted battles here on our way to the next village. Blue Octorox at this point, because our attack is so high, are pretty much no different from Red Octorox, except that they move and give twice the experience. And now we've got bubbles added to the mix. Ooh, thank you. It's nice having magic at such a high level that magic spells don't deplete a whole lot of your meter. I mean, life still does, but things like shield and fire pretty much don't even really make a dent. Mountain Town of Darunya. Darunya is the Fire Sage. He's the Goron. Nothing in here. There's also another secret in this town, much like in... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Middow Town. There's another sword spell here, or sword move you can learn. Oh, hello, lady. Please, please refill my magic. Oh, we can't get up to any of those buildings. That's okay. This seems like a pretty normal town screen, doesn't it? But this, there, it's, something tells me there's gonna be something hidden on here. Sure enough, you can go down this chimney. Much like the villager said, there is something good in the town of Duranya. Hello. Oh, hello, lady. When you jump, press up to stab. And here we learn the up stab. Not nearly as useful as the down stab. But that's more useful for picking off blocks that are above you. Or aerial enemies that are trying to swoop down on you. So it is pretty good. It's just not as freaking amazing as the down stab. But that's a, that's a tall order. <laughs> it's very hard to get as good as the down stab. Oh, hello, lady. What up? Rescue the kidnapped child on the island. Different island than the one that Palace Free was on. But that's how we're gonna get the next magic spell. I 
None of my wave bubbles. No, I need that. No, I need that magic jar. Probably should have saved the kidnapped child before going to Durunia in the first place, but I forgot where the child was located, so there I had to figure it out. So they say it's on the island. Well, that's pretty easy to reach. And now I can kill these eyeball fiends in one hit. Actually, most fiends in the game I can now kill in one hit, thanks to my level 7 strength. At least until we reach the really, really nasty enemies in the later palaces. Oh, that was lucky. So this is the island that they were talking about. Welcome to Maze Island. So we fall down a hidden cavern here. This is a Lizalfos. Very similar to the Iron Knuckles, except they give you less warning when they're going to use their spear. They're also very hard to hit. Oh yeah, take that. They're also worth a lot of experience. And this, the child's over here. He, the child is literally an item. Also, it's terrible in the Japanese version to pick him up. You have to stab him with the sword. It's awful. Well, anyhow. Now that we have the kidnapped child, we need to take him back to the village of Deronia. I'll see you guys there. Alright, lady, thank you for letting me into your house now that I've rescued your kid. And yes, you do need this magic spell if you want to attempt the next palace. This magic will strengthen a shield. Oh, that's right. We get the reflect spell. The reflect spell, when you use it, will, like he said, strengthen your shield. It'll let you block more projectiles, such as fireballs, that you could not uh, reflect before. You can also redirect certain enemy projectiles back at the enemies. We're going to need that for this palace to beat the boss. Anyhow, gotta trek back to Maze Island now. Ooh. Knew that was a jerk move.
Alright, here on Maze Island, there are going to be a lot of scripted fights. Or rather, scripted scenes, I guess. But thankfully, the entire thing is a path, so apart from these, you won't encounter any enemies. So we want to go to the back side of here. Because... Magic container! <laughs> There's only one magic container left in the entire game. So now we have level 6 magic as well as three magic containers. This is awesome. Alright, now we've got to trek to the actual palace. Hi, Zoras. Don't mind me. Like, uh, the Tektites that I was fighting. Yep, these guys, those are the Tektites. Like them, the Zoras, you need the fire spell to actually damage. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. I feel like I don't deserve that. Now we'll travel down here. Never scripted battle. Ow, okay, that was just cheap. <laughs> and that was the upstab that I just did. I feel like I just need to always use the upstab in areas like that. Palace down here. I think one more scripted screen. Nope, never mind. Welcome to the Maze Island Palace. Oh man, Red Iron Knuckles still take two hits to kill. That's unfortunate. So this dungeon is filled with Poe's and Wizrobes. Wizrobes, you can't hit uh, kill without using the Reflect spell, which is a bit annoying. Alright, we gotta wait for this guy to jump out of his hidey hole before we can actually hit him. Excellent. Actually, I need to pull. I need to pull up the map of this dungeon just to make sure I don't m make a goof up like I did for Dungeon Two, where I had to backtrack for a huge portion of it. So I got my phone here. So I'm getting the Palace Four map. All right. I think I'm heading the wrong way. I believe I should head to the left at the beginning. Ouch. And that's only because I can see a key over here and I really don't want to encounter... Alright. Wow, they are worth a lot of experience. We're leveling up life. <laughs> it's definitely time to level up life. Oh, I can't even go that way without a key. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Might as well use, like, every spell I can. <laughs> do, do, do. So this is where the dungeon that introduces... Um, kind of a... You'll find out in the next room. Get out of your pit. Thank you. Actually, never mind. Maybe that's the next dungeon. I thought that uh, it would introduce, like, invisible floors and long pits that you fall down to different parts of the dungeon. But, nope. At least not yet. Oh, I think that's here. Fairy! Thank you, Fairy Spell. Alright, I'm gonna be very careful in this room, what with the lava. Oh boy, these guys, ouch. Oh, well, he just jumped off a cliff, so that's kinda cool. But I kinda wanted that experience as well. Oh, thank you.
And he just did it again. Cool. I'm actually fine with that. Hi, you. How many kills... How many hits does it take to kill you now? Only two. Yay. Alright. Yeah, here we go. You want to hug the right side of the wall there, so you can fall into this corridor. Hey, you. Oh, actually, bubbles don't take that much to kill anymore. Yuck. 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 Get out of here. We can open the store, and... Dungeon item! We get the boots. This lets us walk on some water tiles. Not all of them. Just some of them. Because if you could walk on all the water tiles, that would just be overpowered. We can fall down here. Oh, you suck so much! That is a cheap enemy spawn. Eh, we're going to be seeing a lot more of those in the game. That seems like a great time to stop, as any. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Arty. Tune in next time. We will finish up the Maze Island Palace, most likely, and continue exploring that new section of Hyrule. Hope to see you then. Until then, have a great day, and God bless.